And welcome back. This is Bottle with an episode of Let's Play Xenogears. I'm joined as always by Fei Fung Long, as well as Doc Satanazugi and Emeralda today. We are in Kislev. If you recognize this, you'll probably recognize this as the gear battling. You can do b gear battling, um, this is the arena, I guess I should say. You can do gear battling in, the, in disc two. It's to be honest, not nearly as fun as it once was because now that we have Xenogears, we're kind of overpowered. But I'll show off that just a little bit right now. Uh, there are there are some really good items that you can get here if you're willing to t to spend all your time here. You know what I mean? It it takes a long time. You're, you're you'll be lucky if you get 200 points per per battle. But what I'm really after here are the Faye Jr. doll, the Bart Jr. doll, and the Billy Jr. doll. Everything else can be obtained elsewhere, as far as I, as far as I know. Don't please, please don't get speed shoes here. They are the most expensive thing here. Uh, how much do they cost? Thirty thousand battle points, and like I said, you get. Oh man, you get about 200 per battle. It's just not, just not worth it. And would you choose more carefully next time, please? She gets mad at us if we want to see the price of something. Uh, so I've already gotten the Faye Jr. and Bart Jr. doll. Um, and as you can see, I'm very close to 3,000 battle points, which is what I need in order to get the Billy Jr. doll, so just one more battle, as long as I win, this should be enough. Yes, let me enter. Once again, yes is the second option, which kind of pisses me off. You want to go for special mode 2, special mode 1 is not special at all, it's pretty much training. So let's go ahead and go for special mode 2. I will pilot the Xeno Gears because you need to see the Xeno Gears do this. I'm gonna go for gear level zero because the prize, well, the upgrade to gear level one isn't nearly worth the effort, to be honest with you. In battle music, whatever, I don't care because it's just music, and it's it's probably gonna be about a 15 to 30 second fight. Who cares about the music at that point? Xenogears has been sent to the comparative paddock. Stand by for boarding. Okay. Yeah, th the longest part about this is setting up everything. You know, what? Just going through those menus and all that stuff takes about 30 seconds all to itself. We're up against Suful, which is not what I wanted to do. And yeah, Xenogears? Look at that. We get ranged attacks with Xenogears. So I just basically press R1 then mash X until he pretty much explodes. Oh, I got hit right at the end there. But we have taken on Sufo and we've been able to take out. There's a lot of new enemies here. That is not particularly one that I wanted to show off though. So I'm going to do one more and hopefully it'll show one of the th one of the opponents that I you know, actually want to show you guys. Uh, yes, that that is the that is the code for when you don't need to spend any money repairing yourself, and you get extra battle points and extra bonus money, which is in gold, gold. All right, one more battle. Yeah, I mean, look, this takes so much longer than it should. Special mode two. I will pilot Xeno gears, and the gear level is zero because. To be honest, I usually don't do get the the uh, the the special little um, victory, you know, not getting that much damage done to me on level one, and therefore it's better to actually go for for level zero. You 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 get more battle points that way. Uh, there is a level two, I assume, if you get enough wins with level one, you can do that, but. To me, at this point, it's pretty much useless. Are we up against something cool? No, we're up against another Sufu. Ugh. Can I pause this? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna cut this out until I get something that's cool. Something I actually want to show off. Be right back. All right, there we go. There's an opponent that's worthy of my time. It is the Steer. 
you can fight against not only your your party members. Damn it, he hit me. Not only your uh, your normal party members, normal gears, but also their omni omni gears. Even if I could speak, that'd be great. Uh, they're not that difficult, especially the steer. Actually, the hardest one for me to fight is actually the Fenrir, because the Fenrir has such a quick attack with the sword. But yes, you get to fight all your all your party members' gears and Omni gears uh, randomly. It doesn't actually tell you when you're going to do it. You know, you don't get to pick your opponent before you get to wager how much or anything like that. Not, you see, then this is the, the, the normal one. Um, and then you only get 145 battle points for that. And I believe that if you win on the uh, on level one, you get 175 battle points. If you wanted to change your music, you have to talk to Big Joe here. Listen, music change to yeah, pretty much any of this stuff. Track zero of battle. Yeah, I mean, it's all it's all that kind of stuff, but you know, the battle music is not as important as, you know, getting the actual points. Okay. So, I do need to buy the last thing that I need from here, which is the Billy Jr. doll. Yes, I'll trade with you. Give me the Billy Jr. doll. I do a little spin when I get the Billy Jr. doll, apparently. Uh, I should mention the dolls. I haven't really gone over it because, you know, really it's unconfirmed that these things have any fucking status effects at all because it, the game won't tell you. But here's what I have uh, as what they, they, they assume that it does, I guess. The Choo Choo Idol. Uh, does, of course, only equips on Choo Choo, and it gives Choo Choo attack and defense of up, it ups it by 20%. Uh, the, um, let's see here. Let me just do them in order here. What do I have? Where are they? They are around here somewhere. Uh, the Emeralda doll and the Ellie doll. Emeralda, uh, does a counter with the same amount of damage. Uh, I'll probably try to equip that, see if that transfers over to the gears. Ellie, um, it randomly changes ether attacks up and down 50%. That sounds awful to me, and I don't want that at all. The Faye Jr. doll uh, has a critical damage increase. Uh, that's, it's handmade by Choo Choo, so you should probably equip it on Choo Choo. It's probably only effective on Choo Choo. This, th because there's no criticals on physical attacks, and it's hard to tell on ether attacks, so it's kind of unconfirmed whether or not this actually does anything at all. And then the Bart Jr. doll. Uh, critical percent up. You know, you have a higher chance of go getting a critical hit. Once again, there's no physical critical hit, so it's hard to confirm whether or not this does anything at all. And then the Billy Jr. doll. Accuracy and evasion up. Uh, once we're in the the gears I'll see if I can equip those and they transfer over we'll see because there's no point in having anything else on anyways as long as we got the speed shoes what that's the only thing that transfers to the gears and once you're in the gears it's yeah you know defense on your character doesn't do anything so that is it for the battling here in Kislev on D disc 2 when we come back, I do have a little bit of a, a special thing to show off. Hopefully I can do this right. Otherwise I just set up nothing. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I've reloaded an old save. It took me a little while to get here because my old save was a little bit further back than I had wanted it to be. But now that I know that at the end of the card game they have the actual voice actors for each character say something. I'm going to show off all the remaining voice actors that I can. So I've got Billy and Rico with me. And uh, w we'll see what they say after I win a card game. And I'll show you the ends of all these card games. And I'll say something funny about all the voices, hopefully. See you then. And I've won! What does he sound like? Open your hearts to the light and God will be with you. 
Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Nothing, nothing out of the blue there. Now it's time for Ricardo Bandanas. Okay, what does he have to say about this? <laughs> nah, wasn't as gruff as I thought it would be. Bart's is actually gruffer, but still a nice voice. Emeralda, what do you sound like as a little kid? Out of my way. Okay, it was a robotic kid's voice. W what else would you expect? Time for next one. Are you guys ready? Let's hear it. Come on. As expected. Well, it's kind of disappointing that it's as expected. And finally, we've got Maria. Who says nothing. She wasn't programmed. I don't know why. Does she say something to how she's grown up? Out of my way. Nope, it's the same voice. That's kind of weird. Uh, too bad, too bad. On to the next thing. And now to finish off this special episode where I don't do anything but show off things in the game. I've done some level grinding. It is time to show off more death blows. First, we've got FaZe. Now it's time for Satan's, now that he has his sword!
And finally, it's time for Emeraldas now that she's all grown up! That's going to do it for this special part of Let's Play Xenogears. I have been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by Fei Fong Long, along with everybody else, voice actors or not, death blows or not. Hope you guys have enjoyed this special part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>